Think. Act. <laughs> and prosper. You are now tuned into the Money Level Show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Money Level Show where we think, act, and prosper. Today, we're going to be talking about President Biden coming out and admitting that we need more oil production. We know that during Biden's campaign and during the time that he has been in office, he has been going back and forth with the oil companies and the oil producers and big oil. And we know that there's been a lot of demonization of oil and big oil because of global warming and many other different factors and and this whole push towards green energy and renewable energy has continuously been the theme uh, during biden's presidency and so he has been coming out and actually saying that we need more oil production especially lately he even said it last month so we're going to go ahead and dive into a couple articles and just going to keep sharing why I am still bullish on oil, why I am still bullish on commodities for this decade. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So here we have Forbes article. Uh, I read a different article initially. I think I had to subscribe or something, but either way, you know, it's pretty much communicates the same thing. This article pretty much has a uh, kind of like some personal bias in there. And so, um, and you all will be able to see that based off how the article is written. <clears throat> so it says, Mr. President, we need more oil for much longer than 10 more years. Uh, during Biden's, President Biden's 2023 State of the Union address, he relayed an uh, anecdote that I believe explains his stance towards oil and gas industry. At first, he stayed on script with his prepared remark remarks claiming you may have noticed that big oil just reported record profits profits last year. They made 200 billion in the midst of a global energy crisis. Um, it's outrageous. They invested too little of that profit to increase domestic production and keep gas prices down. Instead, they used those record profits to buy back their own stock, rewarding their CEOs and shareholders. Um, this is just outrageous because like, obviously you know um if it's a global energy crisis that means there's a shortage of supply um and that means that the price is going to go up this is it's a simple de supply and demand situation um and then he's saying that they invested too little of their profit to increase domestic oil production and keep the prices down uh, so you have multiple different factors here i mean obviously you have opec and uh opec wanting to limit how much they're producing uh, i believe russia came out and said they were going to uh, reduce how much they were producing as well um, and then you know so people in those countries are not wanting lower oil prices they're like why would we lower prices to benefit you in america that's pretty much just how it is and so the other component of this is that Biden has continuously threatened oil companies. He said that he wanted to shut them down and all these different things. Right. Um, and why would you invest your money to produce more when government, when politics are threatening you to um, threatening your business, threatening to shut you down? Like, so why would I go and invest more? That, that just makes no sense. So that's just a side note. All right. Uh, so he said um, the article go, reads and says, as I've noted previously, oil companies made substantial increases in capital budgets last year as oil prices rose. The number of rigs drilling for oil has risen sharply and the U.S. oil production last year hit the second highest level on record. But President Biden, who strongly believes we need to bring down our carbon emissions, doesn't think we are investing enough in producing more oil, even though 2023 may set a new record for oil production. But then President Biden went off script. He said that he had pressed oil exec executives on the issue of increasing investments. And he said they told him, we're afraid you're going to shut down all of the oil wells 
and all the oil refineries anyway, so why should we invest in them? President Biden said he responded, we're going to need oil for at least another decade. The chamber burst into laughter and then Biden quickly added and beyond that. I think this attitude explains the seeming disconnect in the president's stance towards oil and gas companies. He and some of his advisors really believe we're going to rapidly phase out oil. He views that as absolutely necessary to address climate change. Thus, in his mind, the oil industry oil industry's re relevance is going to soon fade. So there's no harm in using them as his foil by blaming their high profits for high gasoline prices. <clears throat> so you obviously just you, you obviously just see like, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty funny, like because you're seeing that Biden's coming out saying like, hey, we don't need you, which the oil companies told him. You know, hey, you're going to shut us down. You're going to shut down our refineries anyway. So why should we invest in them? Just the same thing I said earlier. It's just simple logic. Right. Um, and then Biden says we're going to need oil for at least another decade. So is this a Biden pivot? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, they push hard for clean energy. You know, he, uh, he had the, the uh, Green New Deal and um, all these different things that were were trying to uh increase like the usage of electric vehicles and all these different things but now he's saying like we're going to need oil for at least another decade and so we've been calling this all along we've been calling his bluff all along uh we've been saying like you're going to need more oil i've had multiple guests on that has said hey you need more oil you need more investment into the space so now we're going to jump over and look into the actual investment in the oil space all right so this is actually a pretty cool site uh, it's called uh what is it international energy agency so it shows like how much is actually being invested into oil and natural gas coal and all those things how much supply is there so they come they have a lot of charts a lot of charts so um we're going to focus on a couple of specific charts um that um we're going to look into so this is a pretty interesting chart right here. Uh, it talks about um, global investment in, in energy supply. Uh, 2014 uh, for oil and gas supply here, uh, we were at a high. You know, um, I don't know if, I don't think this is the all time high, but oil was over 120 bucks a, bar a barrel, I believe. So, um, so this is talking about how much billions were, were actually investing in this. So this was a, over 1 trillion invested into the oil market. I think I'm reading that right. Um, 2020, obviously we had the pandemic um, that, you know, since then it has decreased by, you know, half, over half, right? Uh, so, and this lasted for like multiple years of, of super um, high investment into the space. I mean, you got 401ks, you got all types of people just investing into like, oil and gas and energy, right? Uh, here's some other charts. Uh, so if you look at uh, here, it shows 2014, um, just the uh, how much we were actually investing in here. So uh, here you have um, uh, 2014 was the highest point, right? And then, you know, 2020, we got to um, over half that, right? And I believe we probably bounced back some, but we're nowhere near the highs uh, of that time. So, and then they have also some some other chart. This chart's pretty cool. Uh, shows like the blue is supply uh, without new investment. So, for example, um, uh, 2020, um, this would be a uh, hundred million. I think it's a hundred million barrels. I think it's barrels per day, um, which I, I know that's, yeah, that's a lot, but uh, this is the supply of how much barrels we will have. And so when you're looking at this 2020, and then if we'd invested no more by 2040, we would be super low on a global scale, right? Um, and this is supply with investment. 
So it's still below the demand curve. So you, you still have um, population growing. You still have populations emerging, um, emerging markets and such. So uh, you still have all these different dynamics, right? And, um, and when you look at it, uh, it's saying that the demand is going to remain high even though it's decreasing by 2040. I mean, that's when a lot of a lot of countries are saying they're going to reduce their emissions and blah, 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 right? Um, and it's saying that we're still going to have a shortage. So that's important things to look at, right? And so um, I just want to share those charts with you because I'm still bullish on oil and energy. Uh, I just think that um, we're nowhere near the top. We're nowhere near um, sustained investment into the space. And I think that these stocks are going to actually going to go higher. So that's my take on it. What's your take on it? Leave it in the comment section below. And also, if you get a chance, be sure to click the link in the description. It's for Rick Rules Symposium. Uh, he's having his annual conference in uh, Boca Raton, Florida, and they're going to have a lot of fun. They do a lot of fun things and stuff. So uh, he does this every year. So be sure to go check that link out uh, and go and learn from billionaires, learn from people that have uh, invested in, in companies and made a lot of money, uh, people that have started companies from scratch and become billionaires and such. And so they're going to talk about this energy revolution. They're going to talk about uh, the commodities, this commodity bull market you know, all these different things. And so be sure to go check that link out. Also in the description is another link for Atmex. So if you go check out Atmex and use my link, uh, you can buy precious metals directly from the company. They're actually stationed where I'm from in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So be sure to click that link below and it definitely helps out the channel if you buy precious metals such as silver and gold. So I want to thank you all for joining the Money Level Show today. I will be back soon, okay? And y'all take care. All right, peace.